glass, old tin cans, crisp packets. Don't mind me, I'm just talking rubbish. I'm talking about rubbish. Now here's a little story to tell it is a must about an unsung hero that moves away your dust. Some people make a fortune, others earn a mint. My old man don't earn much, in fact these flipping skins. Oh, my old man's a dustman, he wears a dustman's hat. He wears gold climbing trousers and lives in a castle flat. He looks a proper honor in his great big old nail boots. His looks as he looks a poor man that he calls a crazy boot. So when he picks their bins up, he spills them on the step. Now one old man got nasty and to the council room. Next time my old man went round there, he punched him up the throat. Oh, my old man's a dustman. He wears a dustman's hat. He wears no rhyming trousers and lives in a council flat. He lives a banana in his grave. He got no boots. He's got to get up to pull them up that he calls him. in my dustbin the other day. Why did you have the policeman? Yeah, the policeman with him. <laughs> Though my old man is a dustman, he's got my heart to go. He got married recently, though he's 86 years old. He said, here I go, Dad, you're getting past your pride. He says, but well, when you get my age, it helps to pass the time. Oh, my old man is a dustman, he wears a dustman's dust. He wears no ivy trousers, and it's in a he looks a proper honor in his great big old pair of boots. His boots is enough to pull them up that he calls them Daisy Roots. I say, I say, I found some lilies in my dustbin the other day. I can't, Lily's still wearing them. In a hurry, he missed the lady's bin. He had gone a few yards when she chased after him. What's him? You'll you think you're playing? She cried right from the yard. You missed me, am I too late now? Jump up on the car. Oh, my old man's a dustman. He wears a dustman's hat. He wears long lining trousers and leads in a council hat. He looks a proper honor in his great big old snail boots. He's just enough to pull. became an astronaut, they shot him in the air. He landed back in Russia, in the middle of Red Square. Old Putin started kissing him, held him to his heart. My dad said, what's your perfume, mate? Smells just like my car. Oh, my old man, he wears an Xmas hat. He wears no wiry trousers, and leaves in a castle glass. He looks a cup and honor in his great big old nail boots. He's got to the octopus. He found the tiger's head one day, nailed to a piece of wood. The tiger looked quite miserable, but I suppose he should. Just then from out the window, a voice began to wail. He said, Hi, where's me tiger's head? Looking all pale and sad, don't kick him in the dustbin. Hey boy, hey boy, oh
I'm sorry, I have a cold. I wish to register a complaint. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry, we're about to close for lunch. Never mind that, <laughs> my lad. I wish to complain about this parrot I purchased not half an hour ago from this very boutique. Oh yeah, the uh, Norwegian blue. What's wrong with it? I'll tell you what's wrong with it. It's dead. That's what's wrong with it. <laughs> when I see you, and I'm looking at one right now. <coughs> he's not dead, he's resting. Remarkable bird, the Norwegian blue. Lovely plumage. The plumage don't enter into it. It's stone dead. Uh, he's, he's resting. Resting? All right, then, if it's resting, I'll wake it up. Hello, Polly. Hello, Polly Parrot. I've got a lovely little cuttlefish for you, Polly Parrot. Can you go move? No, we didn't. That was you pushing the cage. <laughs> yes, you did. Polly! <laughs> Polly! <Bonnie>, wake up! <laughs> wake up, Polly Parrot! <laughs> now that's what I call a dead parrot. <coughs> nah, nah, he's stunned. Stunned? <laughs> yes, you stunned him just as he was waking up. Oh, we can play stunned easily. Remarkable bird. Listen, I've had quite enough of this. That parrot is definitely deceased. And when I purchased it not half an hour ago, you assured me that its lack of movement was due to it being tired and shagged out after a long squawk. <laughs> probably, probably he's pining for the fjords. Pining for the fjords? What kind of talk is that? Why did he fall flat on his back the moment I got him home? Ah, the Norwegian blue first hit me on his back. Remarkable bird. <laughs> Listen, I took the liberty of examining that parrot, and I found the only reason it'd been sat on its perch in the first place was that it had been nailed there. <laughs> <laughs> of course it was nailed there. If I hadn't nailed it there, it'd nuzzled his way up to the bars and boom. Listen, matey. <laughs> this parrot wouldn't boo if you put 4,000 volts through it. <laughs> it's bleeding demise. <laughs> It's not pining, it's passed on. This parrot has ceased to be. It is no more. It's expired and gone to meet its maker. This is a late parrot. It's a stiff. Bereft of life, it lies in peace. If you had nailed it to the perch, it'd be pushing up the daisies. It's run down the curtain and joined the choir invisible. This is an ex-parrot. <laughs> oh, I see what you're saying. Get your replacement. If you want anything done in this country, you've got to complain to your blue in the mouth. <laughs> Sorry, Squire, I've had a look out back and we're right out of parrots. I see, I see, I get the picture. I've got a slug. <laughs> Does it talk? <laughs> it says no bloody replacement, then, is it? Well, I could sing you a song. At what point in proceedings do I want a song? I wanted a parrot. I wanted a replacement parrot. My mother wanted me to get this parrot. She thought it'd be a nice companion. I'm taking his mouse. I only want it to be a lumberjack anyway. <laughs>
directions it can whiz As fast as it can go The speed of light you know Twelve million miles a minute And that's the fastest speed there is So remember when you're feeling very small and insecure How amazingly unlikely is your birth And pray that there's intelligent life somewhere up in space Cause there's bugger all down
this morning I don't know why I don't know why Mr. Reynolds said to say hello I started to cry I started to cry Every place we Of you, 
It's late in the evening She's wondering what clothes to wear She puts on her makeup And brushes her long blonde hair And then she asks me Do I look alright? And I say yes You look wonderful
It's not a cry you can hear at night. It's not somebody who sees the light. It's a call.
You're such a big star to me. You're everything I wanna be. I love your stuff.